Hi, welcome to day four of Vlogmas. It might be day five. I, I don't actually or remember. It's four. It's because okay. it's the 16th. What are we up to this morning? We were ordering Starbucks um, on the mobile or on the mobile app, but Blair wanted to do it right before we pull up to the to the <laughs> thing. She pushes order right before you get to the thing to just order anyway. And I think that's so goofy. Well, that's what I like to do because I want it to be fresh. I don't want it to be sitting in there. Watering, it's... getting all watery and cold and weird. very weird even Taco Bell <laughs> I order Taco Bell all the time and you place the order in the app they don't start it until you get up to the window and you tell them you're there they're like okay we're going but at Starbucks they do start it as soon as it comes in they start it they really don't yeah they do because if you go in to pick it up all the mobile orders are just sitting out on that little for the stadium pickup thing. for the pickup yeah for the pickup well that's what the, we're doing the whole point of that is you run in and get it real fast this is different for the, the drive through is different mm -hmm. Hey guys, and welcome to what is actually day five of Vlogmas, and I know that because I just edited day four, so I know this is day five. Riley was telling me I was wrong, but I knew it. I knew it. Um, okay, so I have a whole table here of all of the goodies that we picked up yesterday for um, stocking stuffers mainly, and then a couple of other gifts. So I thought I would show you everything I picked up um, because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. So... Let's begin with this. Um, this is a gift for Nora. It is a nightlight that casts little stars around the room. I think she'll really like it. She really likes to sleep with lights on and um, we don't have a nightlight in her room like that. We only just have a little wall plug in one. So I thought that that would be really great. So it's a little bit of a stretch outside of my, you know, four gift thing for her, but we're we are mainly doing that, let's just say that. I also got a pack of Christmas cards so that I can write thank you notes and little Christmas cards to a few different people, like our mail lady, for example, and um, I usually like to bake some cookies or buy like a bag of chocolates or something and then attach a note and leave it in the mailbox and um, that sort of thing. Okay, for Nora, we got a lot, I think pretty much everything that we picked up for her nearly everything is um, was from five below yesterday so they had gingerbread houses which she loved so this will be a fun thing to open up again we were really trying to focus on for her stocking and just for any supplemental gifts that we were getting on consumable items meaning things that i mean you know what consumable means <laughs> she will make this enjoy it and then eventually it will get into the trash you know like we're not having all this extra clutter in the home so we got that for her so in Five Below, Riley and I split up and we didn't realize that both of us had picked up so many treats for her. So we might need to redistribute these, but Riley got her some Cheetos and some circus animal cookies. I love these so much. Um, and then he got her Sour Punch straws. He got her a chocolate elf on the shelf, which she'll think is fun since we're, we've been doing Daniel the Elf. Um, he got her peppermint bark because she loves peppermint bark, he said. <laughs> he got her Dunkaroos. I don't think she's ever had those. This is a lot of candy. Um, Reese's Pieces. And then we saw this. This is the cutest thing of all of Christmas. Look at this itty bitty Nutella jar. It's an actually glass jar and it's just miniature. I love it so much. Um, and I think that's, that's all the candy we got her. That's a lot. We might need to, like I said, redistribute that a little bit. Um, and then they had a Daniel Tiger jumbo coloring book. Um, it has some little activities and then she, you know, she loves Daniel Tiger. So we got her that. And then this is one of those magic um, mess-free markers. She loves these. She's had a couple of these over the years. So we got her those for her stocking. I got her a little mini cube of post-it notes for her stocking because she always is stealing mine and she absolutely loves to color on them and then stick them on the fridge or on the walls or whatever. Um, so I got her her own little cube. I think she'll think that's fun. Um, we got her a little box of band-aids because she loves to play doctor and all of her baby dolls and stuffed animals get boo-boos and then she can put band-aids on them. So that's great. I got this cute little shirt. I might give this to her before Christmas. Um, I just think it's so cute. 
little ballerinas on the shirt adorable yeah I might give this to her now so she can wear it over the next nine days until Christmas um, and then the last two things we got her are both play-doh she loves doctors dentists if you've been around you know so we got her this it's a play-doh kit that is some kind of dentist related play-doh kit she will think that's super fun and then just some fresh play-doh because you know it gets nasty it gets dried out so um that's what we got her for her stocking so we can she has a pretty big stocking some of the these this is a lot though but i think it'll be really fun um and then for my mom i got her my mom and i have a joke um, about Kleenex. She always, always, always has like a thousand boxes of Kleenex everywhere all around her. So I got her a pack of the little travel size Kleenex. Um, and then I have a spatula very similar to this one and she loves it. Every time she's at my house, she tells me how much she loves it. So I got her one. And then I got her some silver earrings from Target. I thought they were really pretty. And then the last two things I got for my mom, when we went to Total Wine, they had this um, butter pecan sipping cream. And um, Riley said he had heard about it and that it's really good. So I got her a little mini, little mini mason jar of it. I think she'll have fun trying that. She loves anything butter pecan. Um, and then I got her some for her stocking. I got her some of the spiral uh, hair ties. I love those. For my dad, it's just a lot of candy and then a few other things too. Um, we really went crazy on the candy. So let's see if I can turn these so that they're easy to see. Swedish Fish, Mike and Ike's Sweet Tarts and Whoppers. I love Whoppers. I like Sweet Tarts too. Those are probably his favorite Sweet Tarts. Um, he also loves just regular milk chocolate from Hershey. So we got him that. We got him gummy bears. Some nerd clusters. I hope he's feeling generous and wants to share. <laughs> because I love all of this stuff too. Um, and then I got him, I thought this was a fun, cause it's stocking stuffer sized. Um, just some Gorilla Glue. It's always nice to have that on hand, a fresh tube of that, because when you need it, you need it. And then some car air fresheners for him. And then the last two things we picked up yesterday are um, two little strollers. So this one is for Colin. It is like a mint green color. And it has like little gray stars on it. And this one is pink for Nornor. Um, we actually have this exact one. These are $9.99 at Target. I love them. But Nora um, sits in hers, and so she broke it, so it doesn't work. But they, even still, with it being broken, the two of them fight over it constantly, which is why I just got them both one. They love, both love to put stuffed animals, baby dolls, whatever, literally anything, into their stroller and push it all around the house. But um, I think having two will be better than just having one. And since we got Colin that little boy baby doll, um, where is he? <clears throat> For Colin, because he likes to play baby dolls, you know, with his sister. So I'll, we can put his little baby doll in his little stroller. He'll think that's so fun. And then we can take one of Nora's existing baby dolls because she has 400 billion of them and set hers up in her stroller too. So um, the strollers were kind of like a random thing, but they were specific to yesterday morning. The kids were fighting and fighting and fighting over that one stroller. And I'm like, okay, for $9.99, I'm just going to get two fresh strollers that both function and work. And they can just, they'll probably still fight over who gets what color, but you know. All right, so I'm going to sort my stocking stuffers out over onto my table I showed you the other day with um, kind of where I've been or organizing stocking stuffers. And then what I'm going to do is all of this on this table, all Christmas gifts. I'm going to pack up my sister's children's gifts and mail them to them today. And then I'm going to start wrapping. It's the holiday season. This is so fun. I'm so excited. So this was a really fun day yesterday and very productive.
Okay, so I've been working on wrapping gifts for a little while and I realized that I barely have any wrapping paper left from um, last year. So I'm gonna run out real quick and go grab some more wrapping paper and then come back. And while I'm out, I'm also gonna grab a couple of things to put into the box I'm mailing to my sister and her kids, just some little treats, and a couple of stocking stuffers for Colin because he, <laughs> Everybody else has lots and his little pile is very sad. So I'm gonna run out real quick and do that so I can get back to wrapping. Okay, I just got back from my little gift wrap run. I picked up, I went to Walmart. I picked up a couple for just anybody and then I specifically got the pink Minnie and Mickey for Nor Nor and the blue Minnie and Mickey for Colin. And then I got some sticker gift tags and some um, tissue paper some tie gift tags, and some gift bows. So I'm gonna get back to wrapping. Okay, I just finished over here. I spent quite a few hours. It's like, let's see, it's five o'clock now, so I've been at this for a while. But I got pretty much everything wrapped, um, which is nice. And you can see my wrapping setup. And yes, I did open up one of my dad's canteens <laughs> to eat some Swedish fish for some fuel while I was... Uh, wrapping. It is so nice to have this large space. We have an island, a kitchen island, and I think a lot of people use their kitchen islands to wrap gifts. I do not like sitting on the floor personally to wrap gifts, um, but our kitchen island is much smaller than this table. So anyway, it's very nice. And then I'm not going to wrap the strollers because I'm going to have them set out and I'll put a red bow on each of them. I'll put Colin's baby doll in his stroller. I didn't get Nora a new baby doll because she has so many. So I'll put one in her stroller. Colin also has a pickler triangle um, that will be out and not wrapped. So really nothing of his I don't think will be wrapped because he's one. So the baby and the stroller will be out and then the big, the pickler triangle is this enormous wooden in indoor climbing structure. Um, and so that will be, of course, open and out. And that's really for both of them, but we bought it specific for Colin. All of Nora's gifts are wrapped in this paper. She is at an age where she really enjoys opening gifts, so I have quite a few boxes and things for her to open. And then here are all of Nora's stocking stuffers. Here's everything for my dad with the additions that we got yesterday. Everything for my mom. Everything for Riley. And then today when I ran out, I got Colin. These are some of his favorite snacks, these little teensy snacks and these little puffs. And then he loves dinosaurs, so I got him two little dinosaurs. So that will be his stocking. Um, Nora's really winning the stocking race. She's just so much fun to buy things for because she's so, so appreciative. Um, I don't know if all this candy will fit. Whatever won't fit can be redistributed for sure. But I feel good about that. Everybody has a nice stocking. It'll be really cute. I can just picture it. The pickler triangle with a big red bow, the two strollers with red bows with little baby dolls in them, some toys set out, the stocking set out. I can just picture it on Christmas morning. I think it will be really perfect and really fun. I'm going to head home now and uh, go enjoy the rest of the evening with my family, but this was a big thing on my to-do list, so I'm glad that I got it completed. Um, when I was growing up, all of our stocking stuffers, even though we usually just did like little candy, little treats, things like that, my parents would wrap every single solitary thing. Even we always got orange Tic Tacs in every stocking every single year, and they would wrap the little tiny Tic Tac box. So if I have the time, I think it would be cool to uh, wrap to wrap all the little stocking stuffers, Just probably just for my mom and dad. I don't think Nora... Um, Oops, there's the light switch. I don't think Nora or Colin really would care very much, but maybe to wrap, I probably do want to wrap Riley's stuff since that's his, um, since we're only exchanging stockings, it would be fun for it to all be wrapped. So maybe I'll do that, but not today. Today I'm going home. It's We still have nine days until Christmas. I feel really good having all of my shopping done, virtually all of my wrapping done, and uh, just being able to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I want to do some, oh, I need to bring those cards as I'm talking about that. I want to do some holiday baking for friends and family um, this weekend. It's a Friday today, so um, we have the whole weekend, and Riley just texted me and said he is in a in the mood to cook and bake. So I would like to get some of that done um, this weekend. And I found these 
treat boxes. And then I also have some tins, some cookie tins at home that I bought um, on clearance last year after Christmas. And I also have these really cute stickers that say from the kitchen of Riley and Blair Lamb. So if I get up to doing some baking this weekend, I'd like to drop off cookies to a few of my friends. Um, there's just some baking I'd like to do, but we'll see because the best laid plans, you know. I also got two videos uploaded today. Um, Vlogmas Day 3 and Vlogmas Day 4 are both uploaded uploaded. Vlogmas Day 4 has a prana mat ad in it, which is that acupressure mat that has the little spikes on it. And um, I need to get that approved before it can go up. And that goes up in two more days. So hopefully between now and Sunday, it can be approved. Um, but that that's the story. It's been a really good day. I am home now and it is dinner time. <laughs> and I'm just making hamburger helper. I have not made or eaten Hamburger Helper in probably the better part of a decade, but I saw it online when I was doing my grocery shop and I thought that's an easy weeknight meal and so that's what we're doing. I made a mess. You did make a little bit of a mess, so we always give Colin Cheerios while I make food so that he can sit there and eat and Nora decided to help and you can see some spilled on the floor, but Nora's cleaning them all up, so it's no big deal, right? There's some more, that's right. Pretty much the whole box um, was served to Bubba, right? He must have been super hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Riley is starting on this puzzle. Yes. Um, I work with a company called Greenstock Garden, and they are just the sweetest people ever. And they sent us. That's all right. They sent us this huge care package for Christmas including um, this really I cute puzzle. Cleaner. I'd like to sit down I'm and... A Thank you, Nora. I'd like to sit down and work the puzzle a little bit tonight Whee! once these kitties are to sleep. Um, but if Ashley or Cody Catherine, if you guys are watching this video, y'all are the very best. Thank you for that sweet package. We have dug into many of the treats, including the coconut snowballs. Nora had one this afternoon with Riley, and they said they... It was so good. Anyway, so I've got my. Daddy doesn't have any more work. Yeah. We're all gonna be together as a family. Yeah. We sure are. I'm so excited. All right, so my little hamburger helper's cooking. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen because there's all kinds of stuff going on in here. Um, but this is the beginning of Christmas break, and usually, let me step up here so maybe you can hear me. And then it's going to be Christmas. <laughs> Usually what ends up happening when we have these few weeks off, even before we have, I'm holding this in my hand. It's like my talking stick. Um, even before <laughs> we had kids, when Riley would take off for the, the last three weeks of the year, our house just gets worse and worse and worse because especially since it's so cold at this time of year, we end up just hunkering down and like nobody really feels like cleaning. So one of my goals this time is just to maintain, it doesn't have to be spectacular, spotless, or pristine, but just maintain like some rhythms, you know, starting the dishwasher every evening, unloading it every morning, you know, just general, maybe pick up the playroom every one to five days, <laughs> something. Hey guys, it is about 9.30 now. I got the kids to bed. Well, I got Colin to bed, Riley got Nora to bed and we've just been hanging out. And I thought to cap off this vlog, I would share a little bit about my nighttime routine as far as getting sort of unready for the day and ready for bed. So the first thing I do is I always stand at the sink and I take off all of my jewelry. Um, I never ever wear my rings or earrings to sleep. I can't, I feel like I can feel them all night. And um, my Apple watch comes off as well. And then my mom always sleeps in her. She like doesn't take her um, engagement ring or wedding band off ever. She like wears them to work out. She wears them to sleep, to shower. I take mine off for all of those activities. Um, then I comb my hair. I like to give it a little nice brush before the end of the day. And I pull it up. So it's not pretty, but it's back. Um, and then this 
little hairband my sister actually mailed to me in the middle of the height of the pandemic um, because we were just at home cleaning our houses and trying to um, keep ourselves afloat with two very young children. Um, we both had, gosh, six-ish month olds. Um, okay, I then I take off my eye makeup, which I usually have cotton pads sitting here in this little container, but there are none, so I'm going to get some. They're in the cabinet. A refill. Okay, so it's all refilled. And then I've been using this. This is the knockoff version. It works exactly the same. Highly recommended. It's much cheaper, um, but it's the Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. I have loved this for many, many years because I always wear waterproof mascara because I have just naturally watery eyes. Um, they just, they water a lot. My mom's do too. I think it's definitely genetic. Um, but like, not only if I'm feeling under the weather, but just generally. All right, don't come at me for being not gentle enough. This is the reality of how I do it. And it's really good, it takes it all off very, very quickly. And I usually flip the other side over and get the mascara off. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup today. I just was wearing a tinted moisturizer and um, just one swipe of mascara does a really good job though it takes it all off and then I always fill in my eyebrows so I like to take those off too okay so now I just have like a little bit of face makeup tinted moisturizer like I said it's not a lot but I'm obsessed with this stuff um, this is the deep cleansing oil by a brand called DHC and um, you put a little bit into your hands, warm it up, and then massage it into your skin, and it melts away all of your makeup. So give myself a nice facial massage, and then after I rinse it off, while my face is still, oops, while my face is still a little bit wet, I'm going to cleanse with the CeraVe, CeraVe. I heard it in one of their commercials the other day, they pronounced it CeraVe the hydrating facial cleanser. I have this one little, I was picking, like pushing at like a blackhead, so I have a little red bump, but my skin is so clear compared to what it's been. Um, and it's because of skin cycling. I've talked about this several times. <clears throat> you can go back and read those videos, watch those videos, or you can just um, Google skin cycling. It is so effective. Basically, you do two days of nourishing, gentle cleansing your face in a row. And then on the third day, you do a chemical exfoliant. And then on the fourth day, you apply retinol. Um, and when I tell you it has transformed my skin, I have gotten, and I don't say this to boast because I have had a hard time with my skin for years. But lately I've had so many people say that my skin looks so good, it looks so glowy. Um, when I was with my whole family a few weekends ago, several of my aunts came up to me and said, your skin looks incredible. You like, I just really appreciate those compliments because it, I have like fought for, for clear skin finally. Um, surely it's also partially like a hormonal situation, but However, it has worked out. It's been great. Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm using the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. This stuff is just as good <clears throat> as the $89 moisturizer from Dermalogica that I used for a few years. I still love that stuff, but this stuff is just as good, and I'm getting such good results. So today happens to be a retinol day. So this is actually retinoid, um, but same idea. And so I'm using, I'm just using Differin. Um, <clears throat> so you just apply, gotta get my face out of here, it won't focus. Um, you just apply, you know, pea-sized amount, sometimes a little bit more. So, and then I just, 
apply a thin layer all over my face. Now, I've been doing skin cycling for long enough now that I actually am starting to move into doing it on a three-day cycle instead of a four-day cycle. So I do like a nourish rest day, an exfoliating day, a retinol retinoid day. And then back to the beginning instead of doing two of the nourish rest days after the retinol um, because my skin is doing so well with it. But it took me several months to work up to that. So now what I do is I'm going to let that retinoid, the Differin gel, um, sink in. And I use the retinol sandwich method. So I do the moisturizer, then the retinoid, then the, the moisturizer. I'm using retinol and retinoid interchangeably. I realize they're two different things. Just stick with me. Um, and so I will apply this. I'm just going to let this sink in for a hot second first. And um, while it sinks in, I'm going to brush, floss, and brush my teeth. Okay, now that my teeth are brushed, flossed, and brushed, I'm going to go in with a top layer of this moisturizer. This has prevented any retinol rash, any flaking, any of those kind of issues that I have dealt with in the past. If you're wondering about gua sha, because I talked about that a lot this past spring, um, I was I did it religiously for a couple of months there to really see the results and I really did get results and you can see it's I had a lot more chiseled chin line when I was doing it regularly I still do it from time to time but I've gotten out of the habit of it um I'd like to get back to it actually maybe over this winter break I'll get back to it I still have my stone I still have my stone right here and I still it does feel so nice and it really does work I'm going to go back to my vlogs in like April, I think. April to May are probably when most of them are. Um, finally, I have some eye cream. I don't really think it does anything, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but... I applied it anyway because I have it and you know might as well. The last beauty related thing that I do every night is apply this lip sleeping mask. Obsessed. Obsessed. I use it every single night and my lips are never chapped. And they're chapped, they're prone to being chapped and they never are with using this stuff. Highly recommend it. If you get like an Ulta or Sephora, or even it's sold on Amazon, gift cards for the holidays, worth it. Okay, once all of that stuff is done, I um, go get my pajamas on, so I'll be good to that. Okay, one last brush of my hair and then I'm ready for bed. I've always brushed my hair before bed, ever since I was young. It was probably like in the care and keeping of you book <laughs> from American Girl, if you know, you know. Um, this is, I'm wearing, <clears throat> these are my favorite pajamas. They are loungewear sets that I have ordered off Amazon. I have three or four of them and I love them still. I've had them for a while. Tomorrow is hair wash day and you can tell zhuzhed up so it doesn't look so greasy. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today on this Vlogmas day five. Um, tomorrow should be a great day. It's a Saturday, so we'll be at home together, which will be really nice. And I'd like to get some baking done, so maybe stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for following along. I'm about to go lay on my prana mat and get my little evening acupressure massage situation going for about 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna read my book and go to bed and it's gonna be a very peaceful, wonderful evening. You guys are seriously the best. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you tomorrow.